I am a great coffee lover, so the source have brought me here to Whitchurch to Cafe Rosa to learn how to be a barista. I'm feeling confident, so let's go in and meet Rosa. Rosa, lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you Thank too. Thank you for letting us come into the cafe today. You're welcome. Um, I'm a coffee lover. Mm -hmm. I love coffee, so I'm very excited to be coming in today learning how to be a barista. Okay, it's right, nice. let's start off with a latte. Um, so we just take that out. If you have a look at these two little groups here, yep. yeah, they just click into here, uh -huh. and then once you've clicked them in, you just turn them around really hard. Right. Make sure it's nice and hard. So the first thing is always take out the old coffee. Don't okay. ever reuse the old coffee, okay? Flush it, it through, back. yeah? So just flush it through with water before so you add the new coffee. Out, yep, right? just cleaning it out. Get your coffee cup, and because it's a double shot, it's just going to go in there. And what is this that we're making now then? This is we're going to go for a latte. A latte. Yeah. A good old so, latte. Good old latte. So what you're going to want is silky milk, not mm -hmm. coffee milk. Now I didn't so know, because you went through the milk with me just now, I didn't know there was two types of milk. I well, thought it was just a standard there's milk. There's more than two. And then you're just going to pour. And to get a pretty pattern, what you do is you just start shaking it. And down you come. Wow, look at that. Do you think I'm up? Do you think I can make it? I think, think you I'm can do it challenge? better than me, I'm sure you can. Yeah, definitely. Let's come see on. if I can make a coffee. So you're just going to clean out the steamer. Give it a brush and then turn it on to get rid of any milk that's on there. Okay. So you're going to get rid of the coffee that's in there. Okay, so turn it. Twist it towards me. That way. That's it. Bang out the coffee. That's it. That's it. It's gone. Put it back in there to clean it out, flush it out. So you remember you've got two grooves. So you've got to hold it flat. Yep. And then twist. twist. Yeah. It's nice and tight there. Yeah. So flush it out. With One of um, these? Yeah, double group because there's two groups in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it yeah. It was a single group. Yeah. Right, I see. <laughs> And press the double shot. This is always the best bit. Mm-hmm. Look at that coffee coming out. Perfect. Nice and swirly milk. OK, remember to keep touching it. If not, you know. It's still very cold. Yeah. Oh, it's getting hotter. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. And the then, remember to, if you want to make a pattern, to remember to shake. OK, here it goes. Can I, can I do the pattern? Do I just keep shaking it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you can lift the cup up as well towards you. Oh, this is all going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> there we go. Do I put all the milk in there? You can do, yeah. Now, that is what you call cloud formation there. So I've made a, I've made a cloud pattern. And let's compare the two. I think, pattern-wise, I think mine fells with that one. It's not too bad. It's not. Too it's bad more of a cloud formation, I think. Would you serve that in your cafe to customers? <laughs> Be honest. Of course I would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. No. Okay. No, I would. I, yeah. So for my first go. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah. So I don't think my barista skills were up to scratch just yet and I probably won't be employed anytime soon. So maybe I'll just stick to the day job. See ya.